Hey guys, um, today we're going to teach you how to do bases. Now I, I will go over the painting steps on all the bases and the modeling steps and then I'll show you how I did each guy along with the power um, halberds and everything else like that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with a base. So I'll show you that in just one second what you're going to need. Alright, for this part I'm going to show you the model I'm going to be using for the base. Just a simple conversion. Um, I do have spray paint on my hands. I do apologize for that. But uh, this will be the chaplain and it will be my grandmaster for the actual um, um, army that I'm going to be doing. Now for the base, for the lava bases, what we're going to be using is a wood chip. So let's get this guy out of the way. Just a simple wood chip right here. Nothing special about it. Now this is actually maybe a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do is break it in half because this is actually the base it's going to go on. And I'm just going to break it. And this will add a little bit more definition and then you can put more things in onto it. This is the other piece. Maybe you'll get a little bit more lava here. And then what you can do to break it down is just take off the little bits and pieces right here. And then you'll notice it's sort of uneven. What I do is I take it outside and use the just the standard cement, like a sidewalk or something like that. Just rub it down, and it'll actually act as a little bit of sandpaper. So this is what this is, and I've already got one painted up, and I'll be right back to show you exactly how we're going to make this turn into this. All right, the first step to this is we're going to mix a little bit of, I've got ultramarine blue and the black, and we're just going to dry brush it on. Nothing too fancy because this is just the first layer. Now it doesn't matter about your dry brush. Mine's old and crusty and that's fine because it's, it's going to pick up nicks and pieces that we normally would miss on it because you don't want it to be too super fine. And this is just a very rough coat. You don't have to worry about the nicks and grooves too much because the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and I'm going to put this down. It's going to be a gray, a little bit of uh, foundation, the Codex gray. Now I'm going to take the same color palette that I've been using and just put a little bit of gray in there. And I'm going to mix it on there, try to dry brush it on again. Um, you can be a little bit liberal about this. And then if you can see where the actual weathering is going to be, just try to focus on that, the edges. You don't have to worry about too much underneath, and I'll show you why after we're done with this one. And that's, it just brings out a little bit more. You don't want to go overboard, because you're going to actually put a little bit of a white in there. The next step would be to take a white, same actual palette you're using, to mix all the colors together, just add white right on top of that. And then we'll just take this. And this is where you really want to just go to the edges here. You don't want to do too much more than just um, around the side. Nothing on top. If you feel that there's a couple pieces on top, you can do that. Like right here, I notice there's a little bit of a difference. So we'll just do that right there. And that's pretty much going to be it. Um, so the next step about this is go ahead, we're going to rinse our brush and make sure we're going to get a new one. And because I'm not going to use the same brush for the next part, it's going to be a little bit smaller. But we're going to add the actual lava effects into it, the light effects. Now for what I do is a little bit different um, than standard. I actually like to do mine a little bit messy. Um, it's going to be more of an uncontrolled and I actually take the paint while it's still wet and put in giant globs and then I spread it around to make it look like it's free flowing magma. But anyways we'll get to that in one second. Now for adding the lava we're going to take a um, blood red and a blazing orange and I mix them about 50-50 and we're going to go inside the grooves and just highlight down in here. You don't want it to be that bright because you're actually going to go up high We'll go back in later and do the recesses in a actual lighter color because the light would actually be coming to that first. Make sure to stay even. Like right now the paint's coming off so you're not going to see as much. So make sure you keep your brush 
pretty decent. You don't want to dry brush it so much as maybe a little bit of uh, putting on there a little wet. And it doesn't matter if you overlap the areas here um, because we're actually going to, uh, you know, if it's dirty a little bit, that's fine. Just a little bit of extra light reflecting up. And for these, I'm using just a standard um, Games Workshop fine brush. Um, I use them for a little bit of my dry brushing and just putting on base coats. I don't actually use the detail with them, even though they're a detail brush. So that's where that looks. Nothing over the top. The next step we're going to do is just a standard blazing orange. And this is going to be a lot brighter. And then you want it to actually be closer to the bottom here. You don't want to go up as high, just more in the recess. And then there's that for that. Now, the actual pa the base we're going to do is going to be a red mixed with a... Um, a um, orange. Let's do that right there. Now you don't have to clean your brush for this one because it's going to be mixed in regardless. Now I'm going to put this on pretty liberally and I do go over the base a lot because I go back over with a um, black to cover it up. So if you get some on the edges it's not a big deal. The wood chips I actually found <laughs> at, um, I didn't find them at like Home Depot or Menards or any place like that, or any of your local store. I'm probably sure you could. I just was outside one day and I drove by um, an apartment complex and saw them there <laughs> and uh, I sort of grabbed some, which is probably not the legalest thing to do, but at the same time, I don't think they're going to miss a couple wood chips. Now, the next part I'm going to put on here is a little bit of the orange. And what we're going to do is just sort of dab it on. We don't actually have to make it pretty. I like this look a little bit better than like blending it on or the lines people do. But that's just me. And I'll show you why we're going to do that like that. Because the red underly, underline looks like it's underneath it. The next step is a yellow. Just a bright yellow. You just dip it right in there. Some people don't like mixing paints. I don't mind. I buy way too much anyways. And then you're just going to dab some of this on here. Now this is already sort of blending back in. So if you want to get fresh yellow, that's fine. And just by sort of like stippling it on, it actually sort of blends itself into the actual paint color. And adds sort of, now you can swirl it in, but be careful because it will sort of have the black underneath come through. We get a little bit more yellow in there to add a little bit more contrast, and then it'll be done. The last step would be to clean up, which I'm not going to do for you. All you have to do is take the black and just go back around and just paint on the edges. And that'll give you a nice, crisp, even baseline, just like that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial on how to do lava bases. I'm pretty sure you could go any way with this, with if you want to go lighter or darker um, to make it more of a light effect or a lighter base, a different color shale. But anyways, hope that helps. Hope you guys liked it.